hello friend welcome to the channel in this video i will be showing you how to repair rx5000 mark 2 power amplifier the problem with this amplifier is there is no sound input signal is given but there is no sound on the output on both of the channel Let's open inside and check. First of all, we have to open this circuit board to check the preamp. From here, the signal goes to the front volume. After the volume, the signal will go to the main final amplifier board. Now we have to check all these switches one by one. And next, this preamp IC. We have one, two, three, four, five preamp IC on this board. So let's check one by one. And this is the power connector, which gives power to the preamp. Plus 15, minus 15 volt. I just made plus minus 15 volt power supply just to give power to the preamp and it's quite safe so that I don't have to turn on the whole amplifier. After we have connect the power to the preamp circuit, now we will test with the audio signal. I have a wire here which connected to another amplifier. So let's check the input and output signal. First let's check the input on this RCA socket. Put this there and now we will check the output let's plug in this connector on channel number one and now we will connect this connector on channel number two and we have no sound on both of the channel so let's check on the input of channel number two We do have signal on both of the input, but we have no signal on the output. And next we will check the preamp IC. Starting from pin number one, pin number one, two, three, four, we have minus 14.6 volt, five, six, seven, eight, we have 14.7 volt plus, which is normal. This second I see also is same. 
that means both of the IC are good. We have three IC here on this board, which is NE5532. Two IC we have already checked, and one more left to check. Now we will check this number 3 IC. Starting from pin 1, we have 13.9 volt. Pin 2, we have 6.9 volt. Pin 3, we have 6.9 volt. Pin 4, we have 14.6 volt. Pin 5, we have 6.9 volt. Pin 6, also we have 7. Pin Pin 7 we have 13, pin 8 we have 14.7 volt. That means this IC is abnormal. Let's open this IC and replace it with a new one. Yes, I have a new one. So let's change with this new one. After replacing the new IC, now we will check again the voltage on this IC. And now we have a correct voltage on this pin of this IC. Now that we have solved the problem, so let's fit back and check with the amplifier turning on. Now that the power amplifier is working fine, so thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos updates.